Hi there, and thanks for joining us again on the Interview SME series. Last week, we exposed why businesses in Nigeria fail. This week, however, we'll be looking at unemployment and inflation in Nigeria and how they affect small businesses. Mr. Ulushola Ayodili is the Chief Economist for Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, a professional body that has been advocating social, economic and labor policy issues in Nigeria for over 60 years. He tells us how MSMEs can reduce unemployment in Nigeria if they are provided with adequate support and also discusses how business activities have been affected in 2020 and what small businesses can do to remain profitable. In going forward, I believe that we can provide more um, interventions to this sector. But the challenge that this sector has is they are scattered all over the country. They are scattered it all over the state. There was, there are about if governments through its um, processes linking with uh, the umbrella body of organized businesses can formalize this sector, bring them into close line. It has been adduced that one, one of the critical factor challenges that others on developing this small these sectors of the economy is electricity, in which in which case the over forty percent of their total revenue are spent on getting their electricity done and second largest of it is transportation. So we believe that if this sector had clustered into I mean gathered into a cluster and provide, I mean, government providing all these facilities to this sector that are critical stakeholders in Nigeria economy. I believe that this sector will be able to help the economy in meeting the challenges of unemployment that we believe that is um, skyrocketing or having a negative impact on, the, on our economy. These sectors, because of their informality, because of their low skills. So if we believe that if they can be clustered into, into a, I mean, have a clustering and then it CBN or the agencies try to meet them in this um, set, in these clusters, we believe that these sectors can bring the economy out of the woods that we are currently, I mean, it's done in China and every other economy, I mean, like that. So Nigeria economy should not be, I mean, something different from that. Going by the current challenges of uh, rising inflation, we, we just mentioned that of unemployment, the COVID, the lockdown for over five months. And we can see what also transpired in the protests that the NSAS um, protests that also brings to the fore for the economy. All these have impacts or implication on the economy. And for sectors like the MSMEs to to come out of it or to to become positively out of this situation. We believe that yes, the challenges of COVID is with us. Not only the Nigeria economy is not exempted from the impact of it. Nevertheless, the lessons for businesses is that you, we need to also cut down on our costs. Because if you address your costs and you try to come out with uh, different strategies in addressing the issue of technology. I mean, try to look at your supply chain, look at what are the challenges that you believe that you can mitigate, which trying to reduce your I mean, inventory, try to go digital technology, using the, the, the use of technology in marketing your products and all these things. We believe that the SMEs, which are the bone of, I mean, the bedrock of the economy, could also mitigate all, I mean, some of these factors. Nigeria Employers Consultative Association during the first phase of the lockdown conducted a survey. I mean, addressing factors that companies are, I mean, companies assessing companies or SMEs basically during the COVID 19. 
and we find out that there are several factors that are limited, limiting complaints at those period. And I think some of the um, areas that the, the survey brings out is the access to fund. That yes, if the cash flow can be like, can, can be replenished by government, and that's one of the areas where the maker also advocates for governments giving supporting businesses by paying some of the um, like three months staff salaries, giving them increasing their cash flow maybe through grants or low, or low interests. I mean loans thereabouts. At least for them to be able to to stimulate this sector of the economy so that at the end of the year both the the, 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 the sectors that brings the food like I can say is you know because these are the sectors that the government also needs in taxing so that we can have the revenues to do the infrastructure the roads the provision of necessary amenities so we believe that if governments in one way could come in support of these businesses we believe that we can smile at the end of the day.